Welcome again. Today we look at topic 5 for IV chemistry, thermochemistry, looking specifically at enthalpy changes using the coffee cup. Enthalpy change is a change in the internal energy of a system and thermochemistry tracks these changes by looking at heat changes during reaction. Take for example this simple reaction here in our coffee cup calorimeter. The coffee cup calorimeter is typically made of a polystyrene material which is a good insulator. It's also useful to place a cover on the calorimeter. A thermometer is required and a small stirring rod is also required. Here we place 1.78 grams of lithium chloride into 50 milliliters of water in the coffee cup and once this is done it is possible to calculate the heat changes in the system. Using this equation here, where the heat changes or the enthalpy changes in the system can be found by multiplying the mass of the water in the cup, 50 milliliters, which has a mass of 50 grams, which is 0 0.050 kilograms. C, the specific heat capacity of water, given here as 4.18 kilojoules per kilogram per Kelvin multiplied by the change in temperature given in Kelvin to match the Kelvin unit here in the specific heat capacity. Here we see the change was 4.5 Kelvin. Taking the product of these three values the answer comes to 0 0.95 kilojoules and this is the absolute enthalpy change for this reaction involving 1.78 grams of lithium chloride entering into solution in 50 milliliters of water. But the actual value for the enthalpy change of this salt going into solution must be quoted in kilojoules per mole. So it is required that we convert the enthalpy change from this 1.78 gram portion into the amount that would be generated by one mole of lithium chloride, which has a mass of 42.394 grams. So using this calculation here, we can determine that one mole of lithium chloride would release 22.4 kilojoules of energy when it enters into solution. Matching this value against the stated value in the IB chemistry data booklet of 37.03, we note that there is a significant difference between the two values. And this, of course, is due to the built-in error in our calorimeter, our coffee cup calorimeter, which is certainly not an isolated system, and energy can be released from the system. But this type of error is described as a systematic error, for the effect is constant and always in the same direction. Always, the value that you get for the enthalpy change from the coffee cup calorimeter will be less than the actual value and the percentage error for each time should be relatively consistent, meaning that the effect is constant and in the same direction. But before we complete these calculations, it is of utmost importance to determine the sign for this enthalpy change. And in this particular reaction, the change in temperature was positive, which means that heat was given out from the system and because the system loses heat enthalpy change must be negative meaning that we must put a negative sign in front of this value for 22.4 kilojoules so the value should be negative 22.4 kilojoules to match with the stated data booklet value of negative 37.03 kilojoules per mole for the heat of solution for lithium chloride. So how then can we improve on the coffee cup calorimeter given the fact that we have these losses? And it is certainly worth considering building your own calorimeter with improved insulation and testing it to see if you can improve on the coffee cup calorimeter.